Because of its prime location, bays, inlets, canals, and ocean, Hampton Bays long served the summer tourist crowds. But many of those motels and hotels are struggling in the off season and beyond, now renting rooms to families during the school year. We're living in a house, but you know, I know all the friends that they, they're in a bad situation right now. And they're in the motels and yes. the hotels. Yes. And they're sending their kids to the schools. Right, yes. They're sending their kids to the school. The Hampton Bay School District, in an unusual turn of events, has filed a notice of claim against the town, saying it wants $10 million from Southampton as compensation for educating children living in transient hotels. The properties have done damage to the Hampton Bay's Union Free School District in unrecovered pupil costs of over $10.5 million. The notice also accuses local officials of failing to enforce the zoning code by permitting long-term residential use of transient hotels or motels. We will defend the town. Um, and the facts are entirely on our side. Town Supervisor Jay Schneiderman says the complaint is coming out of the blue. Property values have been steadily rising. School enrollment is on the decline. Things are moving in the right direction in Hampton Bays. It's just, a, it's, it's sad that the school can't see it. Some called the threatened lawsuit veiled discrimination. The kids at the school make dinners for us. Christmas, different times. You should see these schools. You should see what the kids do. Others say they worry about taxes. I think it's really selling the kids short if you're not paying taxes to go towards the school. I don't really know the answer. They need to be schooled too. I really think that they should be moved into proper housing. The school's claim is false, says the supervisor. The town aggressively enforcing its code is doing much more to revitalize this hamlet so that hotels and motels are viable and not home to drifters. From Hampton Bay's Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News. The supervisor says the goal is to create affordable housing east of the Shinnecock Canal while enforcing town code and revitalizing neighborhoods.